What's up guys, it's Crayfish Obsession here, and today we're going to be going over laws of crayfish state by state. I'm going to start with Maryland because that's where I'm in, and I'm going to try to do as many states as possible in different videos. Um, you guys can request a state uh, for me to work on next, but I'm going to start with Maryland. So basically what this is, is we're just going to kind of talk about maryland's crayfish laws and what crayfish are illegal to own um if you can collect them and stuff like that all right so maryland has banned all marbled crayfish the procambrus phallax virginalis um the self-cloning variant and this is because of the marbled crayfish variant the memor crab which can reproduce pathogenically meaning that they reproduce without a mate and all their offspring are clones of each other and I know what you're thinking, but marbled crayfish can also refer to procambrous phallus, not just the virginalis uh, pathogenic, uh, pathogenic reproduction version. Well, technically procambrous phallus is still legal, but Maryland states marbled crayfish are the self-cloning variant, so... It could cause you a lot of trouble, and I wouldn't recommend you trying to get a Procambrus phallus, the natural version. Um, and if you really want to get a Procambrus phallus, not the self-cloning variant. The self-cloning variant is completely illegal in Maryland. If you get one, you're breaking the law. But um, if you want to get a Procambrus phallus, just uh, buy it under its other common name in Florida called the Slough Crayfish. So that way, you don't confuse anyone on which marbled crayfish you're receiving and it will save you a lot of trouble all right so now let's talk about more uh, real invasive species so rusty crayfish are also illegal in maryland except not as illegal as marble crabs for some reason maryland realized that there is nothing they can do to remove rusty crayfish so their laws are more focused on the prevention of spreading rusty crayfish there aren't any laws against possessing a rusty crayfish, but you aren't allowed to release it. You cannot remove a rusty crayfish from one watershed and release it in another watershed. And if you're in the Potomac River or Sats Susquehanna River, rusty crayfish, you have to kill them. And their method of killing is to cut its head off, which is pretty hard to do on a crayfish. It is a shell. So, um, I don't think you... They say you have to cut its head off, so I guess you have to. So bring a big knife if you're if you're going fishing, so you can cut a crayfish head off. Okay, red swamp crayfish, Procambrus clarki. Um, red swamp crayfish are in a similar boat with the rusty crayfish, but even more tolerant, uh, because they're really important for aquaculture and food. And there are lots of live red swamp crayfish sold in supermarkets. The only law really regarding them states that you can't remove a red swamp crayfish from one watershed and release it in the other. And the same thing goes with the rusty crayfish. You can keep a red swamp crayfish, but you can't release it. And similarly goes with the virile or northern crayfish or connectus virilis. Same boat as the red swamp crayfish. You're just not allowed to remove it from one watershed and release it in another. Now, a lesser known invader is the Southern White River Crayfish or Procambrus zonangulus. These guys are not to be confused with the native White River Crayfish, Procambrus acutus. These guys look like brown and white versions of red swamp crayfish, have similar narrow claws, and while Maryland has recognized them as an invasive species, there aren't really any laws regarding them. But what about exotic crayfish? Maryland has brought up Cherax genus crayfish as a potential invader, but there aren't any laws regarding them, so you guys are safe for now. Now we're done with species, we're going to talk about general laws in Maryland. Um, so you can't release non-native species into uh, any water body that, that's illegal and really bad. You shouldn't do that in the first place. Um, and also if you're fishing in the middle Potomac River or Saskuana, river basins you're not allowed to release catch or possess any crayfish nor can you use them as live bait crayfish are basically banned in these areas so do not bring crayfish as bait or for any other reason to these water bodies you're not allowed to collect any crayfish from there either um, basically if you're fishing in the potomac or saskuana 
Saskuhana. I'm real having real trouble with that name. But if you're fishing in those areas, just don't use crayfish. They're just off limits. This only applies in the general state laws. You also always want to check with your local laws, your county law, your city laws, all that stuff. And you can usually find this stuff on your county website and stuff. They usually have local laws on crayfish and stuff like that. This is just for general state laws. Alright, so that kind of concludes most of Maryland's very brief crayfish laws. Um, and I'll try to do as many states as I can. I want My goal is to do all 50 states so everyone in the U.S. has happy times with their crayfish laws um this is kind of going to be a long-term project i'm not going to just make this as a giant series because i think this is a it's a fairly boring series I entertainment wise but i want to get this uh out to the public so that way it's a good resource for people to use um if you guys i haven't I don't have a state plan, so you guys can just request any state and I'll make a video on that. Alright, well, this is Crayfish Obsession and we'll see you in the next one.